AMD's new GPUs, RDNA 2, Big Navi, or as I like to call it, Big Navy, is coming to the rescue for all of our stock problems. So today, I'm going to tell you when the release date is, what the time is, and some very important things you should know if you're looking at getting one of AMD's new GPUs. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content like this. Let's talk about AMD's RDNA 2 or the big Navi GPUs coming out. This is going to be the RX 6000 series, probably going to be named something like RX 6800 XT, 6900 XT, etc. So let's talk about a few very important points that you should know about this launch and especially how it pertains to everything else that's going on in the market. The first First thing that you should know about the release date, when is it and what time is it? Basically it's going to be on Wednesday, October 28th at 12 p.m. Eastern USA time. So 12 p.m. Eastern US time, October 28th, that's going to be when these GPUs will be announced. Now remember, they're only being announced at this point, meaning you're not gonna be able to order them yet. So they're basically just gonna tell you which GPUs are gonna be available, some performance numbers, some comparisons, pretty much like the Nvidia launch. And if you guys saw the Zen 3 launch October 8th, pretty much they announced all of the different processors. And then the actual release date is November 5th for those Zen 3 processors. So I think it's gonna be very similar with the RDNA 2 GPUs. They're gonna announce them at 12, they're gonna tell you what the gpus are all about and the actual release date when you can try to get one of these gpus in your hand is going to be i'm guessing probably sometime in november but stay tuned for that i'm sure we're going to get more information at the actual announcement the second important point that you should know and this is going to be the primary point on most people's mind what is stock going to look like of course we're all sort of tired of battling the rtx 3080 and 3090 stock issues and of course the 3070 is releasing right around this time as well. So certainly all of these GPUs have been exceedingly hard to find. There's been an extreme amount of demand, not enough stock to meet this demand, making a lot of gamers very frustrated and very confused as to the direction that they should take with their build. Do they hold on to their older GPUs? Do they get maybe a 20 series that's used for less of a price? Or do they just keep trying and trying until they finally find a 30 series GPU? A lot of these questions are valid and they're also gonna point to AMD. Of course, AMD has learned significantly from watching NVIDIA's launch. They even released a document to their third-party partners trying to make the launch a lot more fair. Whatever date that is, they're basically trying to limit bots. They're trying to limit sales to just one person. They're trying to maybe have some type of queue system implemented amongst the third-party retailers. So hopefully all of that is going to get put in place because as of right now, we don't really know exactly what the stock situation for AMD will be. Hopefully, since they're using different memory they're going to have different suppliers. Hopefully their stock situation will be a little bit easier and they're going to be able to meet at least some of this demand compared to the NVIDIA RTX 3080 and 3090, which really sold out almost instantly. So hopefully after announcing the GPUs, that's going to be the first factor. And from the looks of it, we're going to talk performance soon. But if the performance is really stellar, that's going to create even more demand, especially for the people who were not able to get an RTX NVIDIA GPU, meaning that it may be difficult as well to get an AMD GPU, even if they have their supply lines really well organized, even if they do have a lot of supply. The demand, I think, is just so massive with a culmination of factors from people not getting GPUs from NVIDIA to it now being the end of the year and the holiday season. So all this may just sum up and still create a very difficult situation for stock with AMD, but it's something we're really going to have to wait and see. They're a completely different company from NVIDIA, but they certainly still have have to deal with a lot of the same limitations that Nvidia has to deal with in terms of where they sell the GPUs, how fast the internet systems can keep up with the demand. So all of that is definitely something that we're going to keep an eye on. So the next important thing that you should know, and that's going to be performance. Now, stock issues aside, and of course the GPU is only valid if people can actually buy it, the performance numbers that we've seen so far, not only from AMD, but all of the leaked specs and different um, graphs and benchmarks that we're seeing coming out more and more lately. It certainly shows that either the top or the top two 
AMD RDNA 2 GPUs are certainly very potent and they're not going to be underpowered or weaker GPUs like maybe the 5700 XT was versus something like the 2080 Ti. This time AMD really means business and a lot of these GPUs are actually going head to head in these different benchmarks against the 3080 even sometimes getting close to the 3090. So it may be one of those cases where the 3080 and whatever AMD's big Navi GPU will be their top of the line they may be very close in performance they may battle it out in different games who knows maybe certain games may be better optimized for nvidia maybe some may be better optimized for amd and that way you surely will see some type of difference but this is something that we're gonna have to wait and see hopefully at the announcement of the launch amd are gonna reveal sort of what the top gpu is as well as everything else down the stack that's gonna compete with like the 3070 the 3080 that's gonna be a very important market segment for them in terms of competition and we'll see if they have been benchmarks showing exactly how close these new GPUs are going to compete against Nvidia's GPUs and certainly aside from stock issues Nvidia certainly has brought their performance game all the way down to the 3070 500 bucks for a 2080 Ti level GPU certainly is impressive the 3080 for 699 is a great performance to value high-end GPU one of the first in a very long time at this price and of course the 3090 while still not being a very good value and only a little bit better than the 30 3080 still is a monster performing GPU. Of course, not just for gaming, but also for certain workstation applications, since it does have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which is going to be considerably more than the 3080 has. And that may be another point where AMD may sneak in here against Nvidia. A lot of these leaked specs for these GPUs are pointing at around 16 gigabytes of VRAM, certainly considerably more than the 10 gigabytes on the high end 3080. Now, this is going to be important as we go forward with more intense. 4k games where you can really max things out you may eventually in the future start to bottleneck apparently right now the 3080s 10 gigabyte limit is not really a problem because even though some games will allocate close to that amount, most games are not using that unless you're playing something maybe like Flight Simulator 2020 where you're really maxing everything out in the most detail possible at 4K or you're looking to get into something like 8K in the future. So if AMD releases their GPUs at around 16 gigabytes of VRAM, certainly they are going to have certain advantages depending on the game and that I think in terms of marketing will certainly look better on their end compared to something that's only 10 gigabytes from NVIDIA. Nvidia. And as we know, there's been news recently that Nvidia did cancel their 20 gigabyte VRAM version of the 3080. So who knows if they're going to do something to replace that. Maybe there's a 3080 Ti coming. Maybe Nvidia saw AMD's performance and they figured they need something beefier than just a little bit better 3080. So it's very possible and likely as well. We're going to see a performance reaction from Nvidia to AMD. So they may release something like a 3080 Ti to be in between the 3080 and 3090. And that way they can be a little bit more dominant in that high-end range where nvidia traditionally has certainly been very dominant during the last few years and then finally the last important thing you should know amd is a little bit newer to the game for the high-end gpus than nvidia is meaning that there are certain things that certainly don't take quite the advantage that we would like yet for example amd traditionally has had some issues with drivers in the past so we're gonna have to see if those issues have been fixed we're gonna have to see if their driver team is on top of their game Nvidia certainly has been pretty quick to respond and fix any issues. AMD, especially with the 5700 XT of the previous generation, definitely took a lot longer to pinpoint and, and fix certain issues. So this is going to be a big, big deal. And of course, we have to remember that certain things just work better with Nvidia, such as encoding and things of that nature. It's not as optimized for AMD. So we're going to have to see how different game engines are going to take advantage of AMD. And remember, AMD is also going to be in the upcoming consoles the ps5 the xbox so we'll see if that has an effect on optimization of gaming as well if it translates over to the pc side of course most of these consoles are basically just pcs at this point so we'll see if that translates into any type of optimizations or performance advantages but for now nvidia certainly has been on the high-end block longer than amd so nvidia certainly has their driver game a lot more on point than amd has had but who knows amd is bringing a different level of performance now so there's a very good chance that they may also have revamped their driver teams and, and they're really paying attention to this launch as an all-inclusive sort of quality product release all right guys hope you enjoyed this video good luck to everybody trying to get an amd or nvidia gpu remember to smash that like button for more content like this and i'll see you guys on the next video